Hey everybody, welcome back to Papa Bear Gaming. Today we got another VGM unboxing. Let's get into it. Before we get into uh, the next VGM unboxing, just a couple of quick things. I went to a convention this past weekend. As I'm talking, I'm gonna throw up a couple of pictures. Obviously, I'm gonna censor all the people that don't wanna be shown, but it was pretty fun. Uh, it's the Phoenix Fan Fusion in Phoenix, surprisingly enough. I don't know if the name's a coincidence. <laughs> but uh, I ran into something really cool. Apparently, there's a brewery in Phoenix that has a retro theme. So I picked up a shirt from him. Unfortunately, they were only giving out samples. Uh, so I couldn't buy any brews, but I picked up a shirt from them. It's, it's not just a beer, it's a health potion. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. I grabbed it. The uh, brewery, if you guys are ever in the Phoenix area, 8-Bit uh, Ale Works. Got a pretty cool logo. So it kind of looks like a cactus, actually, now that I look at it inside, inside the hop. See, it's got the little, it's got like the mouth and the eyes and everything else. But yeah, 8-Bit Ale Works. I believe it's uh, Avondale, Arizona. So, all right, let's get into the unboxing. <laughs> so as usual, somebody writes on my box. Um, so what is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. CTV. Was that circuit television? It's not closed circuit television. It's missing a C. So I don't know what this is, but if you happen to know what this is, put it in the comments below and I'll shout you out during my next unboxing. And if nobody can guess it or nobody knows what it is, I'm not going to shout anybody out. It's just how it goes. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Here's Video Games Monthly again. I'm sure you know what Video Games Monthly is. You've probably been watching my channel for a while. But if you don't know, it's a video subscription. You pay a monthly fee, and they'll send you games every month. You get to keep those games, which is kind of nice. Um, there's some pricing on the screen right now. But... Here's the box, that's their mascot, Floyd. Box looks like it's about to explode. But let's see what's in here. And I, I think I just ripped the box. Nope, it's good. I don't know what the trinket is this month because I haven't got to see anybody's videos yet. So this is gonna be a surprise. Hopefully I won't be disappointed. All right. Usually, oh. I got a Retro AF sticker. That's pretty cool. That's a lot better than the other stickers they've been given. Actually, I think this is a... Uh... It's a nice sticker, but but I wonder if this is um, like one of the ones you could put on your window. Because it kind of feels like that. But I don't want to peel it back just yet. Uh, this is one of the cards that they uh, toss in there that basically says, Hey, update everything. And if you do you have a chance to win a box. And what else we got here? Okay, oh, I got a one-up. Continue my streak. I've been subscribed to these guys for like a year and a half and I've gotten a one-up every single time. That gets dictated by what kind of consoles you pick. So I pick um, pretty much all the Playstations up to three, uh, NES, Super NES, N64, some of the other disc-based systems, mostly cartridge systems, but because I also have uh, like Game Boy colors, the original ones, they'll they'll usually throw in, um, you know, like an extra game or two, just 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 to kind of lift up the the overall price of the box, since those aren't really worth much. But looks like I got a, a Wii game, Byakugan. Too bad it's not complete. It's a loose disc. So this is the first game I got. Byakuban. Ooh, it's pretty scratched up there. It is pretty scratched up. I mean, it, it looks like it will play. But so far, pretty poor start to the box. I think I'm saying that right. Byakugan. 
or maybe it's Bakugan. I don't know. So that's the first game. Second game. Oh, man. Another loose disc. Harry Potter. I think this is on the PlayStation 1. And the Sorceress Stone. So let's see what we got here. How's this disc looking? Oh, this one's pretty clean, though. So that's good. Okay, well... That's kind of a bummer, but I'm pretty sure I can find this game for pretty cheap at the local game store. I'll just have to uh, buy a case, and then I'll just have two copies of that game in the case. I really don't like having loose games. My God! What are these guys, running out of games? <laughs> Looks like they're running out of complete games. This is three loose discs. This isn't something I'm, I usually expect from VGM. Man, I must have made them mad or something. Maybe I said something in one of my videos that they didn't like. But... <laughs> Here we go. That's uh, Cool Borders, just the disc. Sort of scratched up, too. I think it's on PlayStation 1. So, again, I got a very PlayStation 1 heavy box, it seems. Just two games. I usually don't get any. Uh, so, oh, man. Wow. This is... Uh, this is not really cool. Not really something I was expecting. So, I got another loose disc. This is loose disc number four. Four in a row. Thanks. That's not... I might have to reconsider my subscription, especially how I pay for the 10-pack. I don't even know. This doesn't even feel like... I mean, it's it's a black disc, but it doesn't... almost feels like it was reprinted. I, I don't know how the original disc looked like. Maybe it looked like this. This almost looks like a cheaper... like a cheaper print job. So I don't know. Hmm. Starting to uh, starting to get kind of disappointed here with VGM. Let's see what the next one is. And surprisingly, look at this. Another loose disc. I'm assuming PlayStation. It's Burst Trick. Wakeboarding. Wow, loose disc again. The discs looks kind of scratched up too. Hmm. Okay. So I'm I'm almost left speechless here. I barely opened this box, and we have five loose discs. That's half of it. That's half of its loose discs, which is essentially uh, essentially garbage because nobody really wants loose discs. You know, throw in one. I'm I'll be fine with that, but don't don't throw in that many. And I got an NES cart, which is great. Adventure Island by Hudson Soft. I don't know if this makes up for it. It's a three screw. I don't know. I've never heard of this game, so I can't tell you much about it. Um, I'm assuming one of these games is probably a little bit more expensive. Kind of like the Tomb Raider game from the last box. It was worth about 24 bucks, Whereas the rest of the box wasn't really worth that much. So it kind of kind of bumped everything up but bases loaded three <laughs> that's the next game that completes my bases loaded connect uh collection because i had two and one i think i bought one and then they sent me two or or vice versa but this is the third one i don't know if there's a fourth one if there is a fourth one then i may need that one but yeah this isn't a i guess a bad pickup i i like getting uh games like this from VGM because it's games that I wouldn't buy myself. It's it's just I I can't find myself to spend money on games like this. Even though technically I'm spending money for it right now, but it's the same thing like um, like with trades. I'll usually trade things that I have for games that I wouldn't normally pick up at the store. It's it's just it's it's really hard for me to spend money on something just to fill out my collection. And then. Third game, also an NES game, Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter, I think this is this might be a value gainer here. I'm gonna have to look up at the uh, I'm gonna have to look up the price charting information, but Spy Hunter. That is uh, pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is a rare game, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. So if those loose discs were thrown in there because I got Spy Hunter, then maybe maybe it makes up for it. But I guess we'll have to see. And another NES game. 
This is the Adventures in Magic Kingdom. Oh, cool. Somebody else picked up this game from VGM, I think a little while ago. It has some of the rental stickers on it, but it's not bad. I think this is a pretty decent game. So, uh, pretty excited. Not bad. My NES collection's really filling out. And if you're wondering why I don't have the, <laughs> why I don't count it anymore, it's not because I don't want to count it anymore, as I just had three or four separate lists and for some reason, none of them matched up. So I'm going to have to go through the whole system again and just kind of verify that I actually have the right amount of NES games. Um, so basically, I think I'm up to 100 when I count them, but then I mixed in some of my duplicates in there. Some of them are on official releases. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go through the collection and start 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 tallying up again and then maybe just essentially write them down in one system because VGM I had a different count than in this cataloging software I have on my phone so it just all kind of got messed up but it doesn't matter I'll uh I'll figure it out one of these days and the uh looks like the last NES game that I have here is Solstice pretty cool they the it's got a little bit of wear and tear on it I can't say it's from Image Soft. I can't say I've ever seen this game. Uh, it's got some stickers on it, maybe some crud on the back. But yeah, it's another game I haven't heard of. But uh, I think Spy Hunter would have to be my pick. Oh, and I, this is, I'm assuming, the one up game for Game Boy Toy Story. I think everybody knows what Toy Story is. I'm assuming this isn't a super, super expensive game, but it's still pretty good. Uh, from what I can, from what I remember, man, I was a little kid when this came out, but yeah, so Toy Story, five NES games, including Spy Hunter, which is nice, that's cool, and there's five loose disc games, and yeah, there we go. Awesome. Well, at least I didn't get any imports this time around. But man, um, at this point in time, I'll say it was kind of a disappointing box. If, I mean, if the value's there, I, if Spy Hunter is really a rare game, and it's, it's, it's in pretty good condition, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, I mean, it doesn't have any stickers on it, maybe a little bit of wear on the back, but it's, it's not too, too bad. So if this turns out to be a, a high-value gainer, then I'll be... Uh, I'll be pretty excited. It might make up the box, but until then, guys, see you next time.